So lately, I've had an awful lot of people coming at me asking me about calcium powders. Fairly common topic, we all talk about it. There seems to be the same confusion between a lot of different people. Is it calcium or calcium with D3? Which one's best? In this video, I'm gonna go straight over every little detail you need to know about it. And it's not gonna be a long video because if you whittle it down, it's very, very simple for you to pick calcium or calcium D3, whichever's gonna be best for your species. Firstly, for those who do not know and don't keep a lot of lizard species and stuff, every time we feed our lizards, whether it be leopard geckos, crested geckos, uh, bearded dragons, uh, caiman lizards, anything like that, every time we feed them bugs or, or lettuce or anything like that, any reptilian species, we have to put some form of calcium powder on their food we have to supplement it whether it be on their live food or on their greens their veg and stuff like that and that's because their body can't metabolize it and if we don't do it they're going to get seriously seriously ill through diseases like metabolic bone disease so we have to supplement a lot of their food with calcium in captivity that's just the way it goes that's what we have to do so let's start off with the main reason why it's such a confusion there's something come out a long time ago but it's only sort of just aired now massively on the popularity status and that's a vitamin d3 overdose it's massively common within reptiles and that is solely down to picking the correct calcium with or without vitamin d3 for your species i find it really fascinating um, all the newer scientific technology that's coming out um, about how we have to supplement things within our reptiles in captivity that we never used to stuff like ultraviolet light infrared light um, uva uvb um, inf so much stuff is coming out the right calcium powders the right nutrients the right dietary requirements what we used to feed our reptiles was wrong and we have to do it this way and it's all there's a massive change within the reptile sort of hobby at the moment and it's fascinating it's hard to keep on top of it all but that's what i'm here for so if you're learning anything please hit that subscribe button so for the likes of a bearded dragon you do not give them extra vitamin d3 their vitamin d3 comes from their body which is metabolized thanks to the uvb light so your animal will produce its own vitamin d3 thanks to its UVB lighting. That made it a little bit clearer for some of you guys. So if you've got UVB lighting in your enclosure, you don't need to give them any more vitamin D3. If you do give them vitamin D3, they could overdose on it. They could have blocked glands, um, various other illnesses, various other Ill issues. You've seen a couple of giant day geckos with the big glands just there. That's the same problem. So, if you're providing a UVB light for your animal, do not give them extra vitamin D3 every day, like you would coat your live food every day. Now, if you're giving them calcium, let's take, for instance, a bearded dragon. You just give them just calcium. Once a week, if you're adding a different nutrient supplement, I use Nutrible, that has got a slight amount of synthetic vitamin D3. That is okay to use, but on a regular day-to-day -day sort of thing, if you've got UVB lighting, do not give them added vitamin D3 every day. Now, this is where it gets quite fun regarding leopard geckos. Now, for years and years and years, leopard geckos have not had UVB lighting. We've never had to provide it with them. New, new technology and new science says they do actually benefit from a UVB lighting. So we're now having to swap over from vitamin D3 in our calcium powder to straight up calcium powder. How can you tell the difference between calcium and calcium with D3? Simple, it will say calcium if it's calcium. If it says calcium with D3, it will say calcium with D3. So I hope that has cleared it up for you. It's as simple as that. If you provide a UVB lighting source for your animal and the animal actually uses it, go with just calcium. If you don't have a UVB lighting, like a leopard gecko that doesn't have it, go for calcium with D3. 
because their body is not making vitamin D3. Just a little video. I wish I could make it longer. I wish I could be more entertaining. But it was just a simple question that gets asked an awful lot of the time. And I hope it's helped out for you. If you want to watch any more videos, I'll stick some more just there.